Hello TAC community. Today I'm going to show you the TAC registration plugin which allows you to use one ATAC device that's already connected to a TAC server to quickly and easily get other ATAC devices connected to that same TAC server. So here we've got two devices on the screen. Uh, the device on the left hand side is already connected to a TAC server as we can see via the green indicator uh, and the device on the right hand side is not connected to that TAC server. So what we'll do is bring up the TAC registration plugin on the first, uh, first day TAC here. And you can see there are two tabs, the share tab and the scan tab. Uh, we'll stay on the share tab because in this case we want to share the token, or uh, in this case a QR code from this device and we'll scan it with the second device. So we can set various parameters here. Uh, we can set how long uh, the a token is good for. In this case, it's defaulted to uh, being usable for the next 60 minutes. We can set the number of uses. So if we want three or four uh, devices, other devices to be able to scan this token uh, and get it connected to the tax server, we can change that parameter or we can set it to infinite if we want uh, to allow unlimited connectivity. Uh, and then optionally here, we can use a passphrase uh, to make sure that uh, if that QR code is lost or stolen uh, that nobody can use it without also having this passphrase. So we'll just enter test as uh, a sample here. Next we can select the tax server that we want to uh, allow other users to connect to. Here we'll select a demo server and we'll click the create and share registration button. This will cause a, a token to be generated on the server side and a QR code representing that token to be sent to the ATAC device. Now on my second device, I will pull up the TAC registration plugin as well, but this time we will click on the scan tab. And here we have options to scan the registration code and scan uh, another code from the first device if we happen to need the trust store as well uh, for a case where you're using self-signed certs. In this case, we'll just click to scan the registration code. And then I will take the uh, first device and point its camera at the second device. And you don't need to click anything as soon as the QR code is detected. Uh, you'll be prompted for the passphrase if one was required. In this case, we used one, so I'll enter test. And then I'll hit OK. And you'll see a little pop-up saying that it's registering the device with the TAC server. And then you'll see a, uh, a notice when that registration has succeeded. So we can click OK here, and now we can see uh, that we see the other user on this TAC device, and we see the green indicator light saying that we truly are connected to that first TAC server. Now if we had been using self-signed certs, in this case we're not, uh, but if we had been, we can share the trust store from the first device to the second device as well. Uh, here we click the share trust store button on the first ATAC, and an, a new QR code will pop up uh, and you'll see that there is a next button at the bottom. This is because uh, a typical trust store won't fit uh, all that data in within a single QR code. Uh, it often takes two or three QR codes to accommodate all that data. Uh, so on the uh, scanning side, you will be prompted to scan through uh, all the, the different QR codes until you get to uh, a complete trust store being received on the receiving side. You'll note there's also a button here to save this uh, to the gallery. This uh, can be useful if you want to send that QR code uh, via SMS, text messages, or uh, email, or some other secure mechanism, and you're not standing right there next to the other device that you want to get online. Note also in the current design, uh, this should be updated shortly, but that the QR code doesn't actually fit within this window uh, in landscape mode. So you can either switch to portrait mode or you can choose to save that QR code to the gallery uh, via this button here and then have more uh, screen real estate to share that QR code. Uh, you can move through the different QR codes just by hitting next and when you're done you can hit close. Uh, and on the scanning side, it will prompt you to move through the QR codes in the same sequence. And that's all for the TAC registration plugin. Uh, more updates to come for some ease of use capabilities, as well as the ability to control more uh, 
aspects of this on the server side in terms of who is and isn't allowed to uh, share a QR code and create one of these tokens. And we're also looking at other modalities for sending the messages. So instead of QR codes, using NFC so that you can just tap your phones together to, uh, to share connectivity, for example. Also note that there is a server-side plugin that is required at the moment to enable this. Uh, this capability isn't yet built into TAC Server, so you'll need to download the uh, TAC Server plugin and install that on your TAC Server uh, to make use of this capability. The TAC Server plugin link for this is on the same page as the ATAC uh, plugin. Thanks and enjoy!